All right, what's up guys? Uh, today I want to talk about my auto teams um, with the auto battle system. They're a little bit different than the teams I posted uh, when you had to kind of manually do it. Um, basically I'm looking to replace anything that makes the team non-stable even if it slows down the overall team. So we'll show them real quick. Here's the Giants team. The only difference is Leica is here now and I think it's a pretty well ruined Leica on vamp. There's the artifacts. I guess I could power up those artifacts, give them a little more. Um, but he's just there, literally just to become more stable. Um, on my other team, I, you know, was a little faster, but this team just doesn't really lose. Uh, it loses, I mean, maybe every once in a while, but it's it's probably one in a hundred, something like that. It's always a giant surprise when it does lose. Um, and it's just really rare. Basically, Leica makes it super, super uh, safe, and he generally prevents the team from dying. So we'll watch one run. And then we'll go look at the runes on the team. Um, but it's it's a pretty quick team. I mean, it's not like 30 seconds. Like, I, I can run faster um, teams for sure. But this team is just super consistent. Sometimes those fast teams, maybe 90%, 95 which is not bad. Um, but what you don't want is to set up an auto farm and then check it. And it failed on, like, the first try and you sat there. Like, having it in theory going for, like, 10 minutes and nothing happens. So here's the team. We'll just watch it chop away. Usually gets to this point pretty easily and then stuff starts dying because he starts one-shotting. So anytime he doesn't one-shot something, you're great. Him having attack buff makes it pretty pretty likely someone's going to get one-shot. But that was a pretty pretty smooth little run there. And then we're done. So that's the first run. Um, we'll let it run again and then we'll go check the runes while it's running. Hey. Maybe we'll get a quad roll right now our second ever quad roll. Maybe that'll happen. This rune can roll pretty well if it avoids resist, but now that I've said that, it'll quad roll into resist. It's interesting how rare the speed quad rolls are because, hey, there's a start. Um, I've gotten lots of quad rolls in other things, just not speed. Like I have multiple HP, defense, crit, crit rate, crit damage, like everything else I have quad rolls of, just only one on speed. And I don't know why it's missing that. It's just bad luck, you know? missed once but that's not bad if we can roll twice more we'll keep it if we only roll once more i don't see how we can keep it but triple rolls since i've started the auto farm triple rolls are everywhere like my standard for what runes to keep has gone through the roof like on swift i used to keep some 16s some 17s now it's like 18 or it doesn't matter which is two perfect rolls on a rare um so oh too bad too bad I think we'll leave it just in case. Maybe it'll maybe it'll roll into a into eighteen with a bunch of accuracy. That might be okay for like a dungeon unit. So that's not the worst, but that's the only possibility in which it gets kept. So, so you can see there, a couple units lost that time. A little bit, a little bit of a slower run, um, but fine. You know, a minute. All right. So we'll let it run again, and we'll go look at the runes. So we've got Lucian. This is my Rage Lucian. Um, crit rate, a little high for the giant, but that's okay. It means it's, you want them high in general. Not horrible speed, 153, and then tons of crit damage. You can see here the runes. I guess I could max out some of those, and then here's the artifacts. See, I could bump that up too. I don't know if it's the best artifact. They're both attack though, so there's, I'm leaving a little bit of damage on the table by not maxing those artifacts. And I should, because I have like crazy mana. Crazy, crazy mana. Alright, so we got that one. Um, let's look at the Rails Vag. He might be, no, he's here. I was like, he might be in storage. Here's the Hrells Vag. Maxed crit rate for the dungeon on an accuracy set. So that's a pretty good little rune there. Just go through them real quick. That's not a great rune, but that's okay. Okay, we're leaving a little bit on the table there. That one is maxed. All right, so there's the Hrells Vag. Um, let's see. We've got the Lauren, who's on an accuracy set as well on Violent. That could be better. Lots of additional damage because she hits multiple times. And then uh, additional damage by attack. So you can see she's at 71 crit. Um, the main thing is I, I feel like I want to be max accuracy for these dungeons. So with two accuracy sets, 57, 67, we're over the cap, right? All right, so that's three. I'm trying to remember who else is on my team. Well, we know Laika's on the team, so we'll go ahead and show Laika. Kind of looked at him a little bit before. Could max those out. And then who else is on the team? Let's see. We're going to go ahead and end it after this battle. Oh, it's uh, the Inugami, right? So we'll go ahead and end it and then sell that. 
So it's the crow. Let's go look at the crow. Crow. And here he is. So almost max crit because he's dark. So you gotta gotta max him out if you can. That could be a little better. I should probably just go do these things. So defense there and then defense here, but not maxed out. Um, this one is just damage dealt by attacking together and additional damage on fire, wind, and light. So he's he's kind of used in a lot of spots. So I thought that was that was okay. Um, but you'll notice my mana, 127 million. This is all 100, 110% from auto farming, 110% from auto farming. I never had that much mana ever. I was always kind of strapped for mana. And now with auto farming, I keep so few runes uh, that I'm rich with mana. Like I never thought I would be that rich and it just keeps going up. Like I don't, I don't foresee an end to it increasing. Um, and you know, auto farm has been out not very long and I'm already at a hundred million. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess let's look at the runes first. Here's my safe dragons team. And it's a little bit different than some of the other ones you've seen. So I thought I'd showcase it. Um, here's the bird. He's on damage. He's on fight, fight, shield. And I should max that. Really, I should max anything and everything because I've got the mana to do it and there's no point in not. Here's the chilling, which I think is a little different than most people run. He's on accuracy, accuracy shield. And his crit rate isn't quite maxed, but his uh, buff skill will max his crit. His buff skill will max everybody's crit, so we don't have to worry about that. So then we've got additional damage, speed increasing effect, crit damage, and damage based on speed, because that's everything he does. Here's the Rauk. Almost maxed crit, because he's used in a lot of spots. You can see the runes. I mean, they're pretty good runes. That one's not great, but it's okay. Attack, crit damage. That one needs a gem. And then attack. Here's the Ikaru, the famous Ikaru that everyone loves. Probably should max his runes, too. Um, but the main thing with Ikaru is if you can get two defense... Uh, artifacts, it's real easy to get him to his defense cap. And so then I started working on crit rate, crit damage, make sure to give him accuracy. Um, I have not built the triple Ikaru team that everyone talks about. And then here's the Lauren again, just for completion's sake. So that's the team. Um, I've not built the triple Ikaru team yet. I already had one Ikaru because I had this thought that I could run Ikaru with Bastet and use it as a speed lead. It was, uh, it was a thought. It didn't really turn into anything, and it, it could still work at some point, but we need more defense-y things that matter, or like Ikaru, Megan, with some defense monsters. I don't know. I had a plan, but it didn't really work. But anyway, I had one that I had never used, and so when people started talking about it, I was like, well, I don't have to invest any dimensional hole energy. All I have to do is six-star him, so I did, um, and so I've been using him alone, not with two others, in this Dragon's team, and it works really well. Once I found something that was stable... I haven't messed with it at all, so it probably could be better. I just sort of thought, okay, what all does a good Dragon's team need? And tried to incorporate all those elements. Um, so we've got the strength of Igru Verd, which is basically teaming up with the Verd to cycle turns. That also works with the Rauk. Um, we're teaming up with the Rauk with the Verd to cycle turns. And then we're using the Chilling as the strip slow on the Dragon. The speed buff's pretty nice. The crit buff's pretty good. I mean, it helps. Maxes out my crit. So here's on the boss, we get the slow. Team up, get the defense break. Team up, cycle turns. Additional turn, love it, love him on violent. There's our buff. And really, the only time it can go wrong is when um, chilling buffs when we need him to strip. And because of the Lauren and the way we turn cycle, that doesn't come up too terribly much. There's a, so much overlap that good things tend to happen. And the Lauren just controls the bar of the, of the uh, dragon there. So that's kind of how it goes. It's a little on the slow side. But I find it very, very effective. It is slightly less safe than my Giants team, um, but it's still over 95%, no question. Like, I, if I set it to auto, um, see, about a minute and a half. If I set it to auto, I feel fully confident that it will complete all 10 uh, auto runs and not mess up. So that's been my experience. I can run it, you know, I can run it 10 times in a row and not have a, not have a mistake. And by mistake, I mean a fail. Um, but it will fail every once in a while. And... It's been so, so rare that it's a surprise, but it's I'd say it's slightly more frequent than the Giants team. So it's not 100%, um, but it's close enough that I'm fine with it. And what I'll do, I don't really like to run Dragons in general, um, because I feel like there's only one drop that matters, and that's Violent, and all the other drops are generally garbage compared to other areas. Um, so I don't, I don't run um, Dragons, even though I use lots of Violet runes. Um, so I, I don't want to invest too much in it. What I do like to run is... Alunia, uh, the dungeon team, the Alunia 5. I love Alunia 5, and I would rather not have triple Ikaru and have 200 more 
energy to use in a Lunia 5? No question. Dungeon teams just, they're not that important to me, and the dungeon I don't like to farm is less important than something that's not that important. And the Alunia energy is so precious, and it's the only, one of the only spots in the game where you, me, everybody are on the same playing field as the whales. So I, if the whales want to build the Igru team, then I'm 200 Alunia energy in front of them, and that's cool with me. I'll just be slower at dragons. Let's see if we'll get the strip here. That would be one way it could fail. So we're waiting on the chilling. There we go. And now we just need to control which should happen with the Lauren. And there we go, we're back to safe again. So that is how that works. Um, I farm giants all the time, always giants all the time, because Swift is one of the best sets in the game. Maybe the best. Despair is one of the best sets in the game, probably third, debatably fourth. Um, but it's, it's worse than violent, but I think it's better than a lot of other things. So those two are there. Blade is really good. It can enable a lot of things. Energy is not so good. Um, but there's just so much more value there. You might find a a blade slot two speed rune, maybe a legendary, is better than a guard slot two speed rune legendary. Just strictly better. Um, so that's why I farm giants all the time. And my labor has paid off. So far, I've gotten my two fastest. I've improved my fastest swift sets from farming giants all the time. Let me show you. They're not quite online and ready to go, but it's this rune I farmed. And you can see it's only got a 2 on there. If it gets a 5, it'll be 28, which makes it faster than my fastest rune, because that's a 22 with a 5 on it. Um, and then it drops off like crazy. Look at that. My slot 1 swifts are just terrible. Um, so I've got some in the hopper maybe that I could improve upon, but yeah, we're not there yet. So I farm my fastest slot 1 as soon as it's uh, grinded, so that was great. And I farm my fastest slot 4, which is here. It rolled 23 as well. These are both um, purple runes, right? Yep. And this rune was interesting because it, it rolled speed, accuracy, flat defense, flat HP with an HP innate. And I was like, well, what do I do here? I, my initial thought was to get rid of the flat defense for like a resist. But then I was like, no, accuracy is way more important on this type of a rune, this kind of just bruisery swift rune. And so I re-rolled the accuracy that was at a 5, and it maxed out into an 11. I think it was a legendary uh, gem. So I was like, perfect, 11 accuracy. I'll just buff up these stats, and it'll just be super tanky. So I was really happy with that. Um... But, I mean, I have not gotten a quad roll from all this farming of any type in Giants. I'd like to at some point, but they're just so rare. But I've gotten two perfect upgrades, which bumps everything down a slot, which ups it increases the speed of my whole team. So in theory, um, you know, maybe I can build like four 300 speed sets or something like that. That's kind of my plan. Okay, I don't consider Necro worth talking about because I don't farm Necro. I get my will runes from Melunia. And everything else in Necro is not very interesting. So that's that's the plan. So those are my two uh, auto teams. They're a little different than my normal teams. And, you know, you're sacrificing speed for stability, but I think it's absolutely worth it. And I thought you guys would uh, find that interesting and helpful. So I will see you all in the next video. And take care, everybody.